Because it's good vibes. And I think everyone either planned a vacation, went on vacation, or canceled the vacation. Everyone wants to get out, so it really does feel like the best vibe for right now. Well, it, it's amazing because I used to live like two blocks away from here, and I was walking over with a friend, and he's like, think about that. You were, I was living in an, a rent-controlled apartment with nothing, and, uh, and I never thought I'd be here doing this, so it feels really good. Yeah, I think, I think when people see this, they're all going to want to book a vacation. They'll all feel like they went on a vicarious vacation. And they'll all think that they want to meet people like John Cena and Meredith Hagner on vacation. I'm not sure that would be such a good idea. So, Oh, John and Meredith were amazing. I mean, they're, they felt like a couple who'd been together forever. They were exactly the kind of people who would get me in trouble. And uh, and Rel and Avon, it was the same thing. They were just, they had known each other through the stand-up world for years and years, so you just immediately felt like these were real couples, and that was really important to me, and, and you feel like you're there with them and you believe them, so. I mean, it's so funny because I feel like sometimes you do these and you really have to like, it's so fun and it's so funny and we had such a blast making it and I think you can feel it in the movie. It's, it reminds me of old school comedies in that it's, it's just, it's really fun. I don't know, I'm not selling it that well other than I actually think that people will like it because it feels really good and everybody in it is so funny. I had so much fun. I've done a lot of like darker, satirical type of comedies before, and this was, it had a screwball element, which it was, there was some physical comedy. It was so fun, and there were elements that were really broad. So I just personally enjoyed getting to play this kind of insane character. Um, but I had so much fun, and then everyone got along, and it's when you're making a comedy that's so funny, it's just, it's a blast. You literally go to work and laugh your ass off, so. Yeah, it's raucous, it's fun, it's silly, it's irreverent. Um, there we go. I feel good about irreverent. Plead with that. I do think it'll make you want to take a vacation. Um, but yeah, I think people will watch this movie and be like, let's have a, let's have a margarita and a good time. Kyla's very serious. She's very cerebral. She's an intellectual. No, she's crazy and um, nuts and I think follows whatever crazy urges are motivating her in any given moment. She's a blast. She's like, her, her emotional swings are very vast. She was really fun to play. I am, I'm so excited. I made the movie when I was eight months pregnant. So now I have a child and the movie's been born, the baby's been born, I'm excited. I don't know, it's fun. It's, I think anything where you get to sort of celebrate the thing you made, we're here with the director and uh, our actors are in LA, but it's fun. It's always, it's after this crazy time, it's nice to be around any people, you know? <laughs> any people, any human bodies, it's just nice to feel the energy. Vacation Friends is a wonderful ride that gets you a lot of laughs with a subject matter everybody can relate to. Uh, a, a close quarter relationship of like a summer camp type. We all know what the words vacation friends mean. You asked me to tell you why it's the perfect summer movie because people equate vacation with summer, but it's it's really a perfect movie to just laugh with a bunch of friends. It's a lot of moments that people can relate to, turned up to the max, great cast, great writing, great director. It's a fun ride. So, will people be looking to book vacations after Vacation Friends? I don't think it's going to control uh, a choice of like, man, I should book a vacation. What I think it will do, especially in the in the, the state we're in, is allow people to reminisce about their favorite vacation moments. And I think that's really, really special. It's all like, this is what we have now, this is what we can give someone, and if, because it's on Hulu, they can stream it anywhere, they're riding the train, they're watching on their phone, and they're laughing at themselves, and it takes them back to a moment that they had with a person that they met and a connection that they made. I think that's really special. Well, you, you gotta lean into the subject matter. And when you have a title where you, you know what you're sitting down for, a movie like Vacation Friends, I can equate it to The Hangover. Like, you know what you're in for, and you know that it's gonna be, and we've all been hungover, but I've never woken up with a tiger in my room and a Mike Tyson tattoo. So Vacation Friends is the same sort of style. We take that scenario and we turn it to the max. So yeah, you're right with Raucous and you lean into all of those moments and you say how far can you push them. 
There's a really cool, uh, I know Clay's very proud of it and so am I, a little homage to the Beastie Boys in there with some beautiful psychedelics, so that was fun. Uh, we have a cocktail or two, which I suggest you enjoy, responsibly of course, while you're watching Vacation Friends, but it is, it is a fun ride, man. Sure, so my character is Ron, and uh, we don't have the same fashion sense or hairstylist in real life, and, but, Man, I, I do love Ron because he's so empathetic and in tune with his emotions and he's not worried about what other people think. He just wants to live in the moment and have a good time. And as with any, any character, he's not perfect, he has flaw. And he relies on his friends to course correct. And I think that's really, really cool on his journey throughout the movie. Um, he comes off as a guy you'd, you'd want to share a drink with up until a certain point maybe because he he's always looking to make the most of the night so you got to know when to give him the old goodbye but uh, there's a lot of fun in Ron, a lot of wonderful moments this this is the way a screening should be done uh, the, the first thing i did you saw me walk in first thing i did was grab an old-fashioned because i'm like all right this is a party i think this is a wonderful atmosphere i think we have wonderful guests here tonight they picked a tremendous venue there is something to be said for watching a movie in the theaters but we're on Hulu, and the purpose of Hulu is for you to enjoy content as a consumer anywhere you want. So what a better non-traditional disruptive way to do a, a screening than a screening like this. To get that vacation vibe going again, to, to get everybody in a communal space safely, you know, responsibly, and for them to enjoy some laughs, some drinks, have a good time. Oh, of our audience is going to have fun. Man, experiences are what you make of them, as Ron would probably say. If you're in the mood to have fun, the Vacation Friends, you're going to have a blast. And I honestly think if you're on the wrong side of the bed, I think Vacation Friends will, will course correct you and, and right the ship, so hopefully you smile a little bit.